Agent McCarthy, you were very modest about it when I asked you about being shot and possibly almost being run over by the president's limousine, though. But you went to the hospital. Did you ever get a chance to talk to President Reagan about that? Oh, yes. Tell oh, us yes. a little bit about that. A little more enlightening, or not lightening, but lighter than what we just had to discuss. But, uh, and also, if you have questions, please come up to the mic because I'll call on you. Well, on the last day I was in the hospital, about 10 days uh, that I was there, of course, I didn't uh, have anything that meeting with the president or anything like that. He was injured a little bit more seriously and was there longer. But on the last day, uh, I was in the hospital. My wife, Carol, who's here, and two of my children, uh, Jeff and Jeannie, were, came up to get me. Uh, my daughter, Jeannie, brought her nursing kit to make sure everything was in order. <laughs> she was four. <laughs> uh, and my son, Jeff, was acting like a doctor. So they came to get me, and uh, I had a message before I leave to come down and see the president. Sounded like an order to me <laughs> from the commander in chief. And of course, we promptly uh, uh, went down, my, my wife Carol and two of our children. You weren't wearing one of those horrible ho uh, hospital no, gowns. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but he was. So, uh, uh, and Mrs. Reagan was there. So we, we were having a, a, a very nice conversation. We now had four inches of armored glass on his window, the old type of armored glass that would you know, kind of block your vision, distort mm -hmm. your vision before water white came out. We had a great conversation. The president was still hooked up to many of the machines that I had been hooked up to, the tubes and so forth that go in different places that flash red and green and make noises that attract children. Mm. And they were attracting uh, my two children at that time. <laughs> my wife was more nervous than, than uh, I was, a little worried that uh, my kids might finish the job that John had started by <laughs> pulling a tube here and there. <laughs> so we were nervous. and. Uh, and you know, the President of the United States did not know Tim McCarthy from anyone at that time. You work three shifts, you rotate, uh, but we had a wonderful conversation. Tim will have lunch together sometime at dinner. In fact, we did um, later on. But we were just about out the door, and you know, it was time to go, and we were just about out the door, uh, ready to head for home, which was very anxious to get to, and he, and, uh, he stopped. He said, wait a minute now. Tim, it was McCarthy, Reagan. Delahanty, Brady, what the hell did this guy have against the Irish? <laughs> <laughs>